What's up, everybody? Wanted to share with you guys a review in books. All the books I I wanted to share with you my takeaways from books I've read in this in 2019. So according to Goodreads, I've read 19,852 pages, and that's a total of 65 books. I really enjoy. I noticed this year I really enjoy reading a lot of biographies. Um, one of a lot of so my I would say the the top biographies that I really enjoy is Danny Meyer. I'm a huge fan of his restaurants. So for me to be able to to go to some of his restaurants and then see how much he thinks about hospitality and being of service really resonated with me because I would like to think that I'm someone who's always being of service and helping people out and helping people accomplish accomplish their goals. So it was really interesting talking about the struggles he had and and he really emphasizes the value of community and being able to give back to the community. Danny Meyer is someone who really helped transform, as you guys probably already know. He's the founder of Shake Shack. So he was able to uh, build in the Madison Square Park. He talks about what that process was like and how that was not an attractive spot. And because he was able to beautify the park and bring people together, just by adding value and bringing the community together. Now he's, he's the most successful, he's probably one of the most successful restaurateurs and is doing quite well for himself. So I really enjoyed the attention to detail and the level of how much he pays attention to every single detail. That's something that I'm, I'm looking to improve on this year. That's why I'm doing things that are outside my comfort zone, like, like doing a lot more videos because I can record myself and then listen to myself afterwards. And even though it's extremely painful, it's, it's never fun. It becomes a little bit easier each and every time as I notice, am I being stiff? Am I using my hand motions? Am I using a lot of filler words? So that was one of my favorite business books. Nolan Bushnell, his book, the book called Finding the Next Steve Jobs, How to Find, Keep, and Nurture Talent was interesting. He talks a lot about being able to let people be expressive and be creative. He's someone who has mentored a ton of tech entrepreneurs. He's the founder of Atari as well and Chuck E. Cheese's and a bunch of other, he's a serial entrepreneur. But I thought that was interesting to hear from his perspective on how to mentor people and how to just let people be expressive and how to support them in their ideas. Too often, we're shot down by our managers or when we have a weird idea that's different from the status quo. And too often, we, whenever we hear any negative feedback, we're, too, we're, gonna, we're just going to drop it. That's something that I'm looking to get better at as well because at LinkedIn, I know that we're celebrated on our ideas and, and we like to change and improve and disrupt the status quo. So that's something that I'm actively looking to get better at as well, not being able to take feedback in, a, in the wrong way. And, and sometimes feedback can be good, don't get me wrong, but too often than not, I think we take feedback and we make it mean something about our, ourselves, especially if it's something that's radically different. I really enjoyed the, the thing, if I could recommend one book for you to read this year, it's Keith Ferrazzi's Never Eat Alone and Secrets to Success, One Relationship at a Time. This book, I would say, highlights my philosophy on how to build relationships, how to get people together. One of the things I would say my secret power, my secret sauce is to be able to bring people together by hosting reunions, hosting happy hours, and just inviting people to things. And I think that if you're able to bring people together so that people can have time so they can find their tribe, so they can find their community, there's no way you won't be successful. So I really highly recommend that book for anyone who's willing to, who wants to go outside their comfort zone and create an experience. I also enjoyed the CEO of Disney. His name is Bob Iger. It's called The Ride, the Ride of a Lifetime. Lessons learned from 15 years as the CEO of the Walt Disney Company. This book was interesting. What I learned from this book is the power of 
making amends and healing relationships. They had a really bad falling out with Pixar and Bob Iger. It wasn't easy, as you guys already know, anyone who has read Steve Jobs' biography or anyone who listens to Steve Jobs knows that he can be a little bit stubborn and he when he when he has an idea like he his is the right way there's no if ands or buts so bob was i think his secret power and why he was so successful in creating one of the most endearing brands is that he's able to really solve any issues and when you become a problem solver that's how you become very successful so i would recommend that to anyone who wants to move up in business and is able to add value through solving problems by listening, compassionate, empathy, and by making amends and, and healing wounds, even in a business context, which can be very difficult sometimes. I also really enjoyed a book called Living with the Monks, What Turning Off My Phone Taught Me About Happiness, Gratitude, and Focus. I was able to meet my heroes, he's one of my top five heroes, Jesse Itzler, this this year at the Summit of Greatness. And that book is freaking hilarious. Basically, the book is talking about how he is a, he's someone who's high achiever, who's sold multi-million dollar companies many times over, right? He's also married to a billionaire, Blake, who's the founder of Spanx, for anyone who's interested. I would definitely look into her story as well. Very inspirational. And he also wrote a book called Living with the Seal. So this book is freaking hilarious as well. Basically, he he lived with a Navy SEAL trainer. This guy, David Goggins, is a freak. He's just crazy. But essentially, he lives in Boston. And he would make him wake up at like 3, 4 a.m. every day and just do something crazy, like run like 15 miles in freezing cold weather. And just the most ridiculous things. So if anyone who, anyone who wants to have a laugh but also ha- learn something from it as well, those, those books are really, really good. And lastly, I would like to share uh, some of the journals. So I'll post a link to this, this post so that way you don't have to remember everything. Journaling this year has been extremely helpful for me because it's helped me be able to give myself more credit for my accomplishments. I think too often we're we're our own worst critic. So being able to journal every day and just be able to just be present and just reflect on the day or on the year and doing things like this has helped me a lot and just being able to be kinder to myself. So I hope everyone has an amazing 2020 and I'll talk to you soon.